going to the draft. While I was there with my older brother, my mom and my dad, my relatives, Swedish agent with me, and my family got a limo for us. Um, it was, uh, it just felt surreal. That whole year, I wasn't uh, predicted to go in the first round at all uh, when the season started. And uh, I remember my agent telling me that you don't have to sit uh, probably longer than an hour or so. Uh, and I started calculating in my head, okay, every pick is about 10 minutes. When I heard my name, it was uh, just like any other big moment. I feel like I always say that, but I kind of black out. And it was an exciting time for me and my family. Headed into development camp in Ottawa and got to training camp, got to play some exhibition games and then just got the message I was at least starting the season in the NHL. The whole time just felt felt surreal and, and uh, being able to call my parents and say that they're going to come over and, and uh, watch the games was, uh, was a lot of fun. I obviously didn't hear any rumors about it. Phone was off, I was in a different room making music and uh, I came back to my phone. My phone was just a bunch of missed calls, a bunch of text messages and emails from my agent. And I talked to a GM and he told me I was going to the Rangers. And it's funny how um, your parents, your family, and, and your, your friends are always there and support you. And they were obviously uh, stoked for me to go to the Rangers. And obviously, shocking at first, but just a whole lot of excitement to get a chance to, to play for a team like this. My parents were, they always supported me, but they never pushed me to one direction more than just whatever you do, make sure you do it 100% and you commit to it. And make sure you don't have any regrets after. And, you know, if you fail, you fail, but at least you did it. And if you succeed, then that's good. Going to the center, Mika Zibanejas, that was the 700 games. Mika, your mom wants to give you a hug. Having that support system and everything is just still to this day living a dream, obviously. and, and uh, Whatever I do in any sport I've been playing, I just want to win, find ways to get better and where I want to take my game and where I want to take my levels and bring them up as a human being and a, you know, a friend, a, a husband, just a son and everything else. Just want to be the best version of myself that I can be. I'm a bit obsessed with anything that I do. I think it's just the obsession of winning and because and, and, I know obviously you want to have fun but it's a lot more fun when you win and when you become better and you, you, you want to make sure that you break your own record, break your own goals, break everything that you, you have and just obsess over it and, and I don't know if that's the right word but that's how I would describe it I think.